Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. New Bud Light ad ridiculed up and down social media, they're trying so hard, the ad comes after months of controversy and declining sales for the beer company, Anheuser-Busch unveiled a brand new Bud Light ad following the titanic backlash it received after partnering with trans activist Dylan Mulvaney, but it appears consumers are not yet ready to give the beer another chance. The new summer-themed ad received a torrent of negative comments on Twitter mere hours after it was posted. Ridiculing for what many users saw as a pandering TV spot, Bud Light's new ad comes nearly three months after the beer company made Mulvaney one of its spokespeople. The decision rankled consumers. Prompting a dramatic decrease in sales that resulted in beer maker Anheuser-Busch losing billions of dollars in market value, Bud Light appeared to try to avoid controversy with its latest ad. The commercial shows Americans looking to quench their thirst during the summer heat, the ad was chock full of images of Americans attempting to camp, suntan and grill, all while facing the blazing heat and other outdoor inconveniences that can come during the summer months. Of course, each person depicted in the ad found themselves popping open a can of Bud Light and finding relaxation and satisfaction, LGBTQ themes or any other sort of political statement were noticeably absent from the ad. Crack a cold one, we've got an epic summer ahead. Sock tans included, Bud Light captioned the video. The smiling faces of the Bud Light drinkers in the ad were set to the tune of Sheik's 1979 disco hit, Good Times, though the feel-good nature of the commercial was not enough to placate conservative beer drinkers who slammed the ad immediately, the Babylon Bee managing editor Joel Berry set the tone, stating, man, they're trying so hard. Daily Caller editor-in-chief Jeffrey Ingersoll offered some serious advice to the beer brand, tweeting, you're getting brigade for this and for good. Reasons, guys, but also, on its merits, the commercial is dumb. A super cut of dudes embarrassing themselves in front of other people. Have you learned nothing? Go back to the 90s and mine your old content. He added, do a condensed version of Top Gun 2 with more babes. Chicks in bikinis. Smoking hot runway models painted green cast as aliens abducting some average Joe to give him ice cold beer in space. Get creative, but stick to the basics. RNC Research's Jake Schneider responded with the declaration, Now nah, I'm with at Coors Light now, conservative influencer at DC underscore Drano tweeted, Nobody wants to get roasted for drinking Dylan Light, Valiant News Live editor-in-chief Tom Papert remarked, Pleasantly surprised to see straight white men in advertising again. Just wish you didn't become the butt of every joke at the barbecue before learning this lesson. None of these men would be caught dead drinking your beer in public. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.